So let's have an interactive discussion regarding the effect of approaches of the benefits of uh, I have experienced several several uh, evangelistic uh, endeavor while I'm in this thing or while I'm in uh, the conference. But you have been a part of Voice of Youth in different places. So please allow us to know the most like at least what effect approach that you have observed in your territory. Okay? Each group, okay. Um, I'd like to to ask you to raise your hand and then share with us what is that approach because we want to hear it. So you'll be learning from me, but I want to learn from you and Alex will be learning as well. So allow us to know effective approaches you have experienced. Books will tell you many approaches, but the question is, are they effective? Probably in their own territory and own experiences, but we want to know from you, okay? Because they are wisdom already, and we want to learn it, and to learn from you, okay? Anybody who would like to start the whole only, and say the effective approach that they have. Okay, so we have Lyser. Uh, you can come in, please. Hello. Is it my mic? Hello. We had a voice of you today about the Tabul Pompaka. And uh, just Students. Actually, we have no one to study. But when certain students get a pattern or they get a pattern, produce a survey from family background, personal background, family background, and then health, and then Bible study. Don't you know that the start of that survey until the end of the week, we have no, you know. Thank 
system na ito mo dito. One way we approach the people is by cherubis. Because every, almost everyone wants to be fit nowadays, right? So we used it in forming bonds, bonds with the people in that area. Okay. Now, can you tell us Can you tell us uh, what happened in your Um, mostly ladies uh, attended the chair of in the morning, and then for and then we invited them for the health lectures in the evening. So that's like a connection. There's a connection between the two. And then after that, we we have the Bible seminar. But um, when it comes to when you invite them, you see uh, when you say Bible, they kind of. Yes, but um, like those who are really willing to learn about the Bible, um, attended in the evening. There was one, this one lady. She's kind of big, and she also attended the cherubics, and she's always there um, for the health lecture and the Bible seminar every night. Okay. So thank you very much. What else? Speak your mind, speak uh, share your experience because uh, we're listening. Any more? So you think you, what you did before was not effective? <laughs> okay. This, this, or the idea of the experience. Okay, so 
get to ask you to be How about our foreigners? Okay, well, we want to hear from you. Last summer, we are assigned there in Bulacan. Then we have no PPS. Then I said, um, year to pass out of the assigned in district of Pastor Brian. There, um, I have a partner. Uh, he is a nurse. Then every time we will visit uh, their homes, so they will, uh, we will bring a baby set. Then I suggest my doorway uh, groups. Then uh, very very uh, effective. So many get interested. Okay. Because of what they're doing, okay? Because they, they love to have that, uh, that BP of blood pressure they get free, okay? What else? Oh, okay. Next would be. Yes, okay. No. Um, for our team, we are on the board, we should do. So, the effective, uh, the effective way in approaching people is in our, for example, for the ability approach in terms of massage, massage. Then, for, yeah. Uh, anyone of you knows about doing massage, you can massage them because the one who baptized, the one that baptized, the old man that we baptized is also, we are also massaging. So we are doing the massage, like okay, they are uh, giving the message. Okay, you know that? Okay, next.
So let me show you the most effective evangelists in the world. Okay? Let's see. So we have here brought out with an adventure school, a friend or relative, read books, journals, and other literature. So we don't have literature here, but literature can be also one of uh, the approaches in okay, this picture. When you give a book or a pamphlet, that would be a silent picture. Okay? Uh, whether that person, that family, uh, is baptized or not, this, according to what will be a silent messenger during the time of, uh, of uh, uh, in the last days. Uh, a friend or relative, do we have it here already? Friend? Yes. Family? Okay. Uh, public evangelism meetings, of course, of course, of course, uh, Bible studies in the home. Do we have? Yeah, it, it, it was mentioned in Bible study. And then, visit by a pastor, television or radio programs, Bible correspondence course, material on the internet. Let's see. Okay, which is the most effective one by percentage? Huh? 
So the first is, okay, they are bringing in the Adventist food. Next is, Brandon, this one is very important for us, our family network. Like, you said it right, when like a family, you approach the brethren in the church, for example, because you are invited, the church invited you. You ask the people in the church, uh, do you have uh, family members that you would like us to reach out and give us the study? Okay. And that family member has friends also. Okay. So, we have only, remember, you have only how many days or how many weeks? Almost or more than two weeks. And to be friends with someone with with that number of days is impossible, it's hard. So you need to uh, have the help of these people, okay, church members. If they are friends, family members, and then ask them, okay, and also uh, from Adventist home, probably they have uh, relatives, friends who are past life uh, or who are not Adventist yet, but you, uh, you need to uh, approach them. So friends and relatives, especially if you are new in the territory, you can easily get attention. Okay. Um, I hope that, especially ladies, uh, wear your smiles always. You see this one? Okay. Smile. If you see a person smiling at you, what do you feel? Yeah, do you, can you smile with your sick mate? Don't forget to keep smiling. When the, the person smiles at you, you know, the first thought, okay, first, second question. If you receive a smile from a, a, a person that you don't know, what is your interpretation in your mind? Huh? Friendly? Or when I smile at people, especially those old ladies, uh, I think they are saying that uh, I know this person, but I, I can, you know, I forgot uh, when was that and where did I meet this person. Okay. So where your smiles? Okay. So as soon as okay, while you are here in the UP, smiling. Whether you receive a smile back okay, or not, smile. And then public evangelism, 36, Bible studies in down 34, okay, and then uh, others 22 percent. Okay, so the most effective is uh, family, okay, and then invited by a church, and most of you have uh, churches, because we don't want to permit you to go and visit other places without a church sponsoring you. So, since the church requested, ask them, do you have friends and relatives or family or associates that you want us to, you know, reach out? Okay? Uh, not for you, but with you. Um, I heard and I read uh, an experience from our pioneers. What this pioneer uh, did was uh, asking, who is the most, I forgot his name, who is the most uh, uh, honest person in this place? <laughs> okay. Meaning, who is the most influential people in this place? They asked and interviewed, and then he reached out for that person. And when they reached out for that person, that person got baptized. And when he got baptized, because since he was influential, he influenced many people. You see? Um, I 
Amen. Okay. What's that? So what are those circles? Okay. Those are puto ng kalabasa. Okay. Seeds of squash questions. Uh, uh, what happens if, like, I have squash seeds or I have seeds, whatever it is, uh, whatever the uh, plant it is, if I have seeds and I get those seeds that are in my house and the other half of the seeds were planted, what would or what will happen? Okay, I have this experience in uh, the building. So we have seeds. Uh, and my neighbor asked for some seeds of uh, our plant, our plant, kampong. Uh, okay, uh, certain, uh, and then we, we kept our seeds and this neighbor of ours uh, planted the seeds. And then we saw, we, we saw that the you other know, plants are growing. I still see them. And you know, um, when I was again uh, thinking about it, I related with uh, spiritual things, you know. And I said, if I will not plant the words of God in the hearts of the people, nothing will happen. Right? Pastor. The most important thing that what we uh, what we will be doing in the field is not your words, not my words, but the word of God. Amen. So be sure that you will say the word of God to these people. When these words of God is planted in their hearts, it will grow. And another um, another lesson I learned from my garden, I have my garden. We uh, planted papaya. Okay? And if the ground is rocky, you know, papaya, or what's the name of papaya? Papaya also. Papaya is thin and, you know, not growing. But when it's planted in, you know, in the fertile ground, uh, the papaya is growing fast and healthy. So, um, we don't know the hearts of the people, but what we need to do as uh, as most of you members is to cast these things to the people. Not your words, but the word of God. Okay? The word of God. So, um, we have here ideas. And you know, I learned, okay, I have 10 minutes left to go. Okay, so, we have ideas here. And we want to add more next year by your experiences. Okay? So, work with, you should not work for the church, but work with the church. Okay? Do not work for them, but work with them. Okay? So, effective approach. I can give you later on Sanskrit. So, Sanskrit is, uh, you know, doing, it's another activity like doing ministry. Smoking alcohol, drugs, free. Uh, you can befriend the Barangay Cafe, the counselors, to this. And to this, you can uh, influence the young people, such people. Okay? And another is uh, um, uh, life camp, another approach. But uh, so far, we have here lists of effective approaches so that we can. Uh, the most important thing is to. If you, you know, if the persons in the community are not your friends, how can you plant the seeds of God? Okay. So what you need to do is to have at least approaches whereby you can reach them. And then once you have reached these people, start plants to plant the seeds of God. And the word of God is powerful and they can uh, as I said, it will not, you know, but the word of God will be planted and it will grow. And whatever the word of God does, uh, it is so powerful, it will grow and grow and grow. Uh, probably they will not be baptized, but uh, you will see that person in heaven someday. 
So, uh, right before I uh, sit down, so we have here also okay, approaches, the special needs, walk-in, pastor, actually pastor is not effective, with a 5%. Special needs, actually special needs, two to five percent. This is according to the study. Summer school, two to five percent. Evangelistic, not so much, you know, if evangelistic will say it's not, you know, it's not founded here. There are many, if you have, if you don't have friends and relatives, okay, that won't be effective, okay? So what in meaning, okay, while well, you're doing your crusade, uh, one, you know, person passes by that can be interesting. But really, friends and relatives. Okay? You understand? So this is the most effective, 70 to 95 percent. So when you go to the church or churches, uh, do everything, okay, to be friends the people there and then uh, work with the church. I believe we have friends and relatives. Okay, also. They are probably enemies as well. Don't worry about that. But, and I hope you can also uh, try uh, what the, our pioneers did. Look for the influence of people in that place. And be brave enough to spread the gospel, to share the gospel. Okay, so any questions before I sit down? How many more minutes? No more question. Ah, okay. Spiritual gifts. Yeah. Uh, we'll do it after the fourth time of the after the class today. Okay. We break that in. Okay. So, because since the class today is, uh, is time consuming, we need to, you know, to divide ourselves. Please, group leaders, divide yourself. I hope that you can divide your stuff uh, into seven parts. Okay, this is So we have music coordinator. Music coordinators will be on CLT1. Okay, yeah. Speakers. CLT2 with Pastor Pagdivara. Children coordinators with Mount Torres to 30. CLT3, overall and interest coordinators, Pastor Jesta, CLT4, it is CLT4, but maybe CLT5. Okay, let's begin. And then cross culture, ministerial students who will go cross culture in the MAGA, CLT6, and treasurers, uh, CLT7. Those who will be helping them, the money uh, with the uh, Bible. Okay, so we'll pray and then we'll go to the class today. Okay. We'll pray. Okay, so we don't have special number anymore. Okay, let's, let's all stand and pray. And then divide yourselves. If you're not, if you're not, uh, if you please go to the okay, class today topic. That you would like to learn okay, from it. So just any of the best of you that have groups here. Okay, that's all. Stand and pray. Okay, the Father, thank you very much for helping us to learn uh, better the purchase of our disciples. I did uh, teach young people are going uh, in places that they uh, are not acquainted with people. Hello, Lord. Uh, but there are people Churches who are quick to give them the blessing be upon them. And as they work together, oh Lord, they'll be able to plant the seeds, the word of God. Heaven will pass away, and everything will pass away. But your word and your words will stand forever. And if your word uh, was able to create this world, it can create. For people's lives in their ship. The Lord is be with them. So that these people as, uh, will be planted the seeds of uh, your words so that when you come, you'll be able to harvest them for your glory. And as we have our last week, may your guidance be with us and be with the lecturers as well. 
just in it. If they give you go down to the class things and please be back again after the class things.